Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days, today's broadcast. Cybercrime against Western Armenia, Homeland, the official newspaper of the Republic of Western Armenia, Brussels to hold third donor conference on supporting future of Syria. The Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons will likely accuse the Syrian government for Duma attack. Apart from Tigran, the Great Opera was played in Garni Temple, and the theater will be built there. Some malicious individuals with the help of some websites like Nuyantapan.am, ParliamentWA.info, CitizenshipWesternArmenia.info can make you perform dangerous operations such as installing software or disclosing personal information such as passwords, phone numbers or credit card numbers. You may be a victim of phishing attack. Phishing is a very common malicious technique on the internet. The objective is to conduct an identity theft in order to obtain personal information and banking identifiers for criminal use. These cyber criminals are sharing emails containing a trapped attachment to a large list of contacts. The email invites recipients to update their personal information on a falsified website to which they are redirected. The list includes large number of contacts and increases the chances that one of the recipients will get affected by the message. With one click, the recipient is redirected to the falsified site, which collects all the information. This data is then available to the cyber criminal. These individuals based in Russia and Republic of Armenia are cyber criminals already reported by the services of the Ministry of Interior of Western Armenia to the relevant authorities. They have no legitimacy to speak on behalf of Western Armenia. Those who somehow get affected because of this criminal association can contact us with the help of our email address. It was published the ninth issue of the new edition of the monthly official newspaper of the Republic of Western Armenia. The official newspaper will be published periodically on the beginning of each month on Western Armenian. Let us remind that in the near future will also be published the Turkish and English versions of the newspaper. The third international donor conference dedicated to Syria kicked off in Brussels on March 12. The conference organized by the European Union and the United Nations brought together participants from more than 85 countries and organizations to Brussels to collect funds to help Syrian refugees as well as discuss the state of the crisis in the country. The main high-level attendees were European Union High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy Federica Moherini. UN Special Envoy for Syria, Gary Patterson, UN Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs and Emergency Relief Coordinator Mark Lowcock, Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Çavuşoğlu, UN High Commissioner for Refugees Filippo Grandi. The purpose of the conference was to address the most critical humanitarian issues affecting Syrians both inside and outside the country, and to reaffirm financial support to the Syrian neighbors struggling most with the Syrian refugee crisis. Around 12 million people are in need inside the country, and almost 6 million refugees seek help in neighboring countries. The Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons will likely blame the Syrian government for the April 2018 chemical weapons attack on the rural Damascus town of Duma. Russia's permanent representative to the OPCW, Alexander Shulgin, stated during a press conference on Monday. We have to state that the experts did not dare to contradict the US, France and the UK, who chose to take justice into their own hands and avoid any other versions besides their own, on the involvement of the Syrian government in what took place in Duma on April 7 of 2018, the diplomat said. The OPCW report is rather uncertain on this. There is an assumption that chlorine was used as a chemical weapon. However, the fact speaks volumes. At the time, Duma was under the militants control. Therefore, the part about chemical weapons being used definitely prepares the international community to hold Damascus responsible, he continued. It is likely that this will be one of the first conclusions of the OPCW attribution team created in the death of the OPCW technical secretariat under pressure from the USA and in direct violation of the chemical weapon convention, the invoice said. It is clear that the US and its allies will use these biased conclusions again as the guilty have already been assigned. They will use them to carry out unilateral forceful actions against lawful Syrian officials, he added. 
On March 10, in the yard of Temple of Garni, cultural figures were introduced to the program of staging Joan Adolf Hesse's Tigran the Great Opera. They shared information about the process of the works, the importance of the opera staging, and its culture, patriotic, and political principles. At the event were present Nazini Garibian, performer of the responsibilities of the Minister of Culture, prominent figures of the culture, and directors of cultural centers. It is foreseen to build an amphitheater and to hold the premiere of Tigran the Great Opera in Temple of Garni. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Narek Boysen. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.